Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, so what we're doing today is a 30 minute cardio up blast. We're gonna move that body, we're gonna shake. You need no equipment. All you need is your sweat towel, your drink, and your great attitude. And let's get this thing rocking. <laughs> Okay, so hopefully you had a chance to grab your sweats out of your drink and your great attitude. So let's get warmed up. Let's start with some step jacks. Let's get a bounce in our steps so we get moving and we get shaking and ready to rock and roll this thing. <laughs> We're going to each side. We've got two more. Last one. And we're gonna go right here into butt kicks. Pull that leg back, start stretching out that quad. Oh, put up that chest, squeeze those shoulder blades. We want that whole body moving. Two more. Last one. And then right here, we're gonna just do a nice good trunk twist. Ooh, yeah. All the way around. Two more. Last one. And then we're gonna sit right here. We're gonna hinge down and hit each toe with our opposite hand. Hinging down, go gliding those hamstrings. Nice and controlled. We've got two more. One more to each side. Last one. And then we're just gonna do some punches right here. That shoulder blade moving and the arm twisting through that trunk. Two more. And then we're gonna go diagonal and punch up. Ooh yeah. Kind of getting the heart rate up there. Don't worry, we're gonna get there today. <laughs> Two more, last one, and then let's squat and a big arm circle. Squat and a big arm circle, ooh, that feels so good. Oh yeah, two more, last one. Oh yeah, and then big arm circles the other way. Oh, and then let's do some big hip circles right here. Nice and controlled. And then the other way direction. Getting that whole thing moving and shaking. Let's go to the other side. Big circles. Feeling good, getting that hip range of motion in there. Let's go the other direction. Oh yeah. And let's go down and up, hinging down with a little bit of a wider stance. Hinging through that hip, getting those hamstrings gliding more. Down and up. Oh yeah. Two more. Last one, now hang out right here. Hold that, and you're gonna walk it to that right side. Oh yeah, you need face, yeah. Let's walk it to the left side. Ooh yeah. Let's go to the center, let's take that arm and go right, and let's roll that wrist, and roll it the other direction. Let's come down and let's go the other direction. Roll that wrist, roll it the other way. Oh yes, and come on up. Woo, that feels good. We're gonna go to the edge of our mat. We're gonna do a nice good little walk out right here. Hold, and then push into downward dog, and let's pump those heels. Yeah, we'll use those calves in all of our um, cardio activities. We'll go back into plank, push down again into downward dog. Press those heels. Oh yeah, and then let's walk that back up. One more time, walk that baby out. Get a nice good input in those shoulders. We'll walk that baby up, all the way up, and let's have that front foot there, and let's go down and up. Again, just widen those hamstrings. It's important to get those things moving. Last one. And then the other side, down and up. Last one. Oh yeah, and then let's open and close. Moving those thumbs up and down. Last one. And we're gonna throw those arms right up overhead and back. Two more. Last one. Oh yeah. Okay, so what we're doing today is we're not gonna repeat any activities. We are gonna move and shake for one minute before moving on to another activity. But the good news is you don't have to repeat it. So <laughs> it's only a one time through. We're gonna blast through and get that heart rate up. And then we're gonna finish out with some nice, good ab work. So the first activity we're gonna do is we're gonna do scissor 
chop. Scissor chops into a burpee. Down and up, scissor chops. Now, if you don't want to jump, you need to step back, step back. Come down, step and back up. The whole point, move that entire time. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one. Scissor chops, and then down and up, burpee. Down and up. Now, you don't have to hop, but you have to move quickly as fast as you can. You can step, step back, step back, step down, down, and up. You're getting that whole body moving. You'll get that heart rate up there, believe me. You don't have to hop to keep working. Down and up. Keep moving and shaking. You're halfway there. I told you we're gonna get that heart rate up there. I was not lying. <laughs> keep it up. Down and up. 15 more seconds. Oh yeah. 10 more seconds, you got this. Come on, hang in there. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, we like that word, right? <laughs> okay, second activity. We're gonna do a lateral shuffle and flop. Lateral shuffle and flop. Now, when you slap, I don't wanna hinge. I wanna squat down and touch that, okay? Go to the fastest of your ability. You're not competing with me, you're competing with yourself. Whoo, 10 seconds to grab that, catch that breath, and we'll get this thing rolling. Okay, three, two, one. Shuffle and slap, shuffle and slap. Squat down to hit that floor. Oh yeah. Now again, you may be faster than me. You may be slower than me. I want you competing with yourself. I want you pushing yourself. Okay, don't make it easy. You're not gonna grow. You're not gonna get any workout if you just make it da 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 Push yourself. You're halfway there. I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit. Pushing myself. I know I can do more. I gotta push to get better. Okay, that push, that difficulty is how your body grows and develops. Okay, we gotta keep doing that. 10 more seconds. Just like our kids in school, they're challenged, that's how they're growing. Three, two, one, and rest. Woo! It's nice. If you don't like activity, only doing it once. Woo! Okay, next activity high knee caps, touch the knee right here with a bounce or a hop. Again, the speed is up to you. Woo! My heart rate's up there. <laughs> it's working, are you? <laughs> you got 10 seconds. Oh yeah, just enough. Catch that breath, and here we go. In three, two, one. Touching that knee, tapping that knee. So you can go a little faster, you can do a little slower, you can just do a knee drive right here, but you're pushing yourself. I can't keep up that pace a whole minute, but I can add in a couple times to push my body. Oh yeah. Keep it up. High knees, let's go, halfway there. Again, push where you're at. Sometimes that changes day to day, depending how tired you are, your sleep pattern, the activity this the day before. Don't be discouraged. It's like, this is my push for today. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. I think that's my favorite word of the day. <laughs> okay. We're gonna do standing mountain climbers. So you're gonna grab, like you're climbing a ladder, aka the mountain, grabbing and pulling. So you're pulling down with your arm, you're pulling up with your leg, each side, alternating side. Again, with a bounce, with a hop, pushing your body. Here we go. 
three, two, one. Climb away. Drive and drive. Come on, all the way to the top. We gotta go there. Oh yeah. Just think, Mount Everest only takes one minute to get there. <laughs> drive and drive. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Let's go. Keep moving. Like I said, it might be just steps right now for you. That's okay. Or maybe you can do a couple of these, a couple of steps. You're halfway there. Pull down, pull down, pull down. You're doing great. Hang in there. Pull. You can see that mountain. It's coming in 15 seconds, that peak. Oh, yeah. Woo. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, that peak looks good. Oh, yeah. Grab a drink at the peak. And then we're gonna do <laughs> cross knee drives. We're gonna do it right here. 30 seconds on this side. Switch in sides. You can alternate or you can do 30 and 30. I'll give you a countdown. Slow that breath down for just a second. Or I speed that baby back up. Okay. Woo! Are you ready? Here we go. In three, two, one. Cross that body with a hop or just a step. But you're moving. Come on in. Like I said, you can alternate sides. We're gonna do 30 and 30. I'll give you a countdown for that. Drive it, pull it and drive. Crunch it in. Get some ab work in there, right? Oh yeah. You're doing great. Come on, pull that down. Pull it down. And three, two, one, switch it. That means we're halfway there, right? Yes. Drive it down. Come on, pull that baby. You're doing great. Come on, hang in there. Ten more seconds. Almost there. And five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, next activity. Woo. Single leg hop, each side, and then three up, three lateral bounds, and then one up, or low step, low step, low step, explode. Either one, you're working. Now, we got this one, and one more cardio before we start hitting that ab work. So, hang in there, push yourself, you can do this, okay? Here we go in three, two, one. Three lateral bounds and then up. Exploding or hopping. As wide as you can go and explode. Come on, you got this. Halfway there. Oh yeah. Twenty more seconds. Come on, you got this. Hang in there. Stay tough. I'm right there with you. You can do it. Come on. See the finish line in five, four, three, two. One and rest. Oh, yes. Okay. Our last cardio is gonna go down to the ground. We are going to do some switch lunges in the plank position. Right here, back and forth. You don't have to hop, you have to move the entire time. To the best of your ability, you may not be able to have that full range. Yours may be right out here. Okay, that's okay. I'm okay with that, because you're moving and you're shaking, you're working hard and you're pushing yourself. That's what I want. I want you to get better. Okay, let's get in position. Here we go in three, two, one. Switching those lunges. Back and forth with a hop or a step. Again, you may not have the same range of motion, 
But that's okay, you're going to the best of your abilities. This is our last quote unquote pure cardio. Do some ab focus next. Keep moving, keep moving. We're halfway there. Oh, yes. Woo. Oh, yeah. Keep pushing. I know it's challenging, but you can see the finish line. Come on. Woo. 15 more seconds. Oh, yeah. I'm sweating. I'm working. You're with me here. 10 seconds left. Five. Four, three, two, one, rest. Oh yeah, sweat me some bullets. We're gonna go down and do a mermaid crunch. So, go down on that right side. We're gonna cross those feet across. I'm gonna drive it in and crunch right here. Drive those feet in, crunch it to that elbow. Now, whew. You can't do both feet, you can do one at a time. That's okay, but push yourself. Are you ready? Here we go, three, two, one. Up and crunch. Now, we're doing the whole minute on this side. So, we aren't repeating, but we are doing another side with the same activity. I don't call that repeating, because we're working a different side, so it feels like a different workout. Oh yeah, drive that in and back out. Drive and crunch. Halfway there. Maybe you do two and then you have to come up to one. That's okay. Cross those feet, makes it a little easier to pull those legs in. Crunch that baby up. We're working those obliques. We're working those lower abdominals. We're working that rectus abdominis. It's working all of those in this activity. We're multitasking, right? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, we're not doing the right side, the left side yet. We're first gonna do whew, a canoe. We're gonna go right here and we're gonna just canoe. Now, you can do that with your feet up or with your feet down. That's okay, I don't care, but you're gonna canoe big circles all the way around. That's what we're doing, okay? We're gonna keep that boat floating steady, straight ahead, okay? Here we go, you ready? Get in position. And we've got three, two, one. Let's canoe this baby. All the way, big circles, like you're making a figure eight. Or you're taking that oar to each side, pedaling, pedaling, roaring, right here. In the Olympics, going straight ahead. We're rolling to the best of our ability. Come on, hang in there. Now you can have your feet down or you can have your feet up. Maybe you can try one foot up. You're pushing yourself though. Maybe you have your feet up for just a few seconds and you come back down. It's that you're pushing yourself to get better each time. Halfway there. And then we'll do the mermaid on the left side. <laughs> oh, yes. Come on, baby. 15 more seconds. Oh, yes. Man, it's the only time my canoe goes straight, I tell you. 10 more seconds. And we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, yes. We've got the other side now for that mermaid. Okay. We're going to the other side. Crunching in, remember we're crossing those legs. Crunching that elbow in to the side as we drive those legs up. Catch that breath for just a minute. Whew. Okay. Are you ready? Are you in position? Here we go in three, two, one. Let's crunch that baby up and down. Crunch that in and down. Oh yeah. Drive that in and out. You're doing great. Come on, hang in there. Drive it and out. Oh, yes. 
working those abs. Now they're getting really fatigued and tired, aren't they? Halfway there. Oh, baby. Ooh, yeah. 15 more seconds, hang in there. Come on, drive that baby in. Crunch that down and crunch it. And we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, I love that word. Okay, so we're going down on our back. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little flutters right here, arms and legs. Now, it depends on your ability. Maybe you're down on the ground and your arms are back and your legs are up more, okay? That takes less work. The lower the legs are, the harder the work, okay? The more unstable you are, the more you come up on your sit bone, the harder it is. Adjust accordingly, but push yourself, okay? Here we go, in three, two, one, right here. Down and flutter, oh yeah. Flutter away, push, push, push. Kicking those legs back and forth, moving those arms back and forth. Oh yeah, the lower those legs, the harder. Oh yeah. And we've done a lot of ab work already, so they're gonna be a little more tired. So just know that, that that's, sometimes we gain on how we did something on another day, but because of the different activities you've done, maybe in the week and in that workout, it's a little bit different. Adjust accordingly to today. 20 more seconds. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh baby. Oh, that's a nice good burn. Yes it is. 10 more seconds, let's go. <laughs> and we've got five, four, three, two, one hand rest. Oh, yes. Okay, we are gonna do lower leg lift. Okay, Whew. where we are gonna do a nice good rainbow. We're gonna lift that up. We're gonna switch to the other side. We're gonna lift that up and switch to the drop to the other side, okay? Nice good rainbow with those legs. To the best of your ability, maybe it's one leg up. One leg over, that's okay. Well, let's try this though, you ready? Here we go, three, two, one, up and over. Oh yeah. Lifting up and coming back over. Oh, baby, lifting and dropping. Come on, you're halfway there. I'm really concentrating on making sure. We're pulling that up and rotating that baby over. Oh, yes, 15 more seconds. Oh, come on, hang in there, you got this. Woo, yeah, four. Three, two, one, and rest. Oh, how I love that word, right? Okay, we are going to a side plank. We're gonna do a nice good hip drop, and we're gonna do a crunch right here. Drop that hip, come up, and crunch. Now, you may only be able to do that on your knee. Crunch and drop. Or you may need it staggered, drop, and then to drop the knee to the knee drive. That's okay. I want you just pushing yourself and working. We're gonna stick with this whole side. I'm gonna start with my right, just so I get consistent. And I remember, okay? So here we go in three, two, one. So we're up, hip dropping, crunch it down. Hip drop, crunch it up. Drive that hip all the way in that nice good side plank, and then drive that knee up. Again, you can use that knee to lower yourself, have a little bit more stability. You can have your feet staggered or stacked depending on your difficulty level. We'll do the other side the next minute. We're halfway through on this side. Oh yes, we got this. Come on, stay strong, stay steady. 
You're almost done. Okay, we can see the finish line. Oh, yes. Keep it up. I know, it's getting fatigued. Like I said, we did a nice good blast on this. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Woo. We got the other side though. We're gonna even Steven this baby. The good news is we have this one and only one more after that. Yes, we can see that finish line, right? Okay, catch that breath. Okay, Woo. are you ready? Are you in position? In three, two, one. So side plank and a crunch. Drive that knee in, side plank that baby and crunch it. Again, stagger your legs. You may find that you're stronger on one side than the other, or maybe you're fatigued from what you're doing. That's okay. Keep it up, keep it up to the best of your ability. Keep moving that whole time. Don't give up. Okay, it keeps our mentality. Focus on the end game. Oh yeah. Hang in there, you're halfway there. And remember, we only have one more activity after this, okay? So we can see that finish line. Helps us stay stronger and focused. Okay, it's okay, we're fatigued. That means we did our job today in the gym. And the gym is wherever you're working out, okay? That's how we look at it. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, love that word. Okay, last activity. We are going to do two bicycles, two on each side, and then up to two toe touches. And then two bicycles. So two bicycles means you touch your elbows to the opposite side twice, each side twice, and then two toe touches. If you mess that up, it's not gonna hurt anything. It's just the pattern that I've set. Okay, so let's get in position. Here we go in three, two, one. Two bicycles and two toe touches. And when you do those toe touches, you don't have to touch your toes, but you have to move in that direction. You have to get those shoulder blades up off the ground, okay? And drive those legs down, drive those through those heels and those pedals, drive it. It'll activate much more your lower abdominals. Drive it, drive it, drive it, and drive it, and rotate. Grab those obliques that way. Don't pull on your neck. Just rotate those elbows with a slight touch on your neck. You can even do it right here on your shoulders if that makes it a little bit easier. Keep going, we are only 20 more seconds away. Oh baby, we're seeing that finish line. Come on, stay steady, we are almost there. Three, two, one, and rest. Oh yeah, let's go onto our back. Down we go. Let's lift up and stretch those abs. Get those hip flexors and those abs stretched out. Oh, that feels so good. And then we're gonna go down, pushing that downward dog, push those heels down. We work them a lot when we're doing those cardio activities. Step through with that left leg and hold that lunge, low lunge position if you can. It's gonna get that hip flexor, open that hip up a little bit more. And then we're gonna straighten that front knee up, get a nice good hamstring stretch. And then we're gonna drop that knee, come on up, push onto the other side, really open up that hip, drive that hip flexor forward, really get that nice, really stretched out. And then we're gonna grab that foot, pull it back and really give you a nice, good quad stretch. Work those a lot in those jumping activities in the beginning. And then we're gonna come down and we're gonna rotate over, drive that hip in a rotation. Nice work. And then we're gonna go to the other side now. Sit down nice and low. Oh yeah, baby. And we're gonna straighten that front knee. Get that hamstring going. 
and then we're gonna drop that back knee. We're gonna lean right over that knee and lift on up. Really get that hip flexor moving. And then we're gonna grab that foot. Let's stretch out that quad. Oh, that is so nice and tight on me. <laughs> and then we're gonna come down and we're gonna do that nice good little rotation. Trip, twist there, opening up that hip. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna come up and we're gonna high five and say, nice work. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel below so you get new workouts every weekday morning. And I love hearing shout outs. Give me a shout out. I love to hear it. And have a great day.